Hello. In this lecture, we are going to learn about CPU registers, program counter, and data pointer of 8051 microcontroller. Let's uh, see first what what are the CPU registers. See, see this is the ALU. This is the CPU. This part is the CPU. And if you see there, we have a CPU as CPU registers. CPU registers. We have temporary registers. Temporary registers. temporary registers see these are used by the cpu for processing the data then we have a register a register this a register is also known as accumulator accumulator this is an important register accumulator because whatever the operation for most of the operations, one of the operand will be there in the accumulator. And we have one more register related to the CPU register that is the B register. This B register is normally used for multiplication whenever it does, whenever this CPU does multiplication and division is to, to make use of this B register. First of all, this all 8051, most of the 8051 registers are 8 bit registers. All these are 8 bit registers. 8 bit. All these are 8 bit registers. Now, uh, before proceeding to program counter and data pointer, let's see what is a register. What is a register? A register is used to store data. So, it's a register is made up of flip-flops. So, to store 8-bit data, there will be 8 flip-flops. So, this is 8-bit data we want to store. So, it should be a D0 to D1, D2, D3, D4, D5, D6, D7. So, these registers are storage units. So, it is made up of flip-flops. Now, uh, this D7 is the MSB and D0 is the LSB. So, we can store any values binary numbers 101011 10, anything we can store like that and as per our requirement we can convert to decimal or hexadecimal whatever it is as per the need we can manipulate this so this is a basically a resistors are used to store data now we will see uh, what is program counter uh, before going to program counter see there are only only two 16 bit registers in 8051 and 8051 this 8051 has only two 16 bit registers which are those registers that is the dptr dptr means data pointer data pointer and pc pc is the program counter out of this this data pointer this is a data pointer this data pointer is user accessible user accessible users user accessible means the prep the programmer can read and write into the data pointer but we can't modify program counter value this is not accessible okay this is not accessible accessible now now we'll see what is 
program counter okay program counter program counter is a 16 bit register we know now what is the use of this program counter is a piece the program counter this will be holding will be holding holding the address address of the memory location address address of the memory location memory location to be fetched next that means a uh, program counter it will be point it will be holding the one value cpu will take that value that value will be pointing to a memory address let's see in a little more uh, okay let me draw it here so how, how this program counter works this is a cpu this is a cpu and we have the program counter here pc and when uh, 8051 when power on when power on happens this will be holding the value of 0000, 0, 0, 0 h when it is power on or reset this program counter will be having the 0, 0, 0 h value and what does that do and we should have a program memory also we should have here program memory program memory means what a rom we should have the a rom and here also this rom will be so each memory location can hold one byte of one byte of information or data one byte these are the instructions each location can hold one byte of instruction so this memory location will be 0, 0, 0 h next will be 0, 0, 0, 1 uh, next 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4, 0, 5, 0, 6. It goes on up to 64 kilobytes of memory. Kilobytes of memory. It can go up to 64 kilobytes of memory. Why it can go up to 64 kilobytes of memory? Because it is a 16-bit at 16-bit register. So it can 2 to the power 16 will give you. 64 65 65536 so it can address 64 bytes of rom now uh, now what what when now this is a program counter now when powered on what what does cpu does cpu read this program counter value and through the bus it will go to the first location here let us assume that it's a one byte instruction. It's a one byte instruction. So what does it do? It will the CPU will execute that instruction and the program counter value will be incremented by a one because it's a one byte instruction. It will be incremented by one. So it will, be, will get 0, 0, 0, 001 H. Now let us assume that in the next instruction is two byte. Two byte so again the cpu where it comes the cpu comes here to the this location now what happens it's a two two byte so one byte here will two byte instruction so one byte will be here one byte will be here so after executing that instruction what the what the, what the cpu cpu does this program count cpu cpu executes that instruction and the program counter will be incremented by two because it's a two byte instruction so it will be zero zero three like this depending upon the instruction how many bytes instruction the program counter will increment it can be one sometimes it will be incremented by one sometimes two but the three byte instruction it will increment by three so what is a program counter program counter is is a register which holds the address of the instruction to be fetched from the memory so that's it that is what the program counter now we will see uh, what is a data pointer a data pointer 
DPTR data pointer. This data pointer, this data pointer is used to access external RAM. It is user accessible. Accessible, okay? That's the first thing. User accessible. User can modify the value of this data pointer. And this is what is the use of this data pointer? It is used to access external RAM, external uh, RAM, external RAM. See, what? whenever the data is stored, data, it is not the instructions, data. Data means uh, sometimes what happens, we'll have a table. We'll have a table here. This is a, a table of values. It can be uh, a mathematical function value, let us something like a square of a number. So, 1, 2, 1, 4, 9, 16, like that many values will be stored in the NVRAM, 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 non-volatile RAM. So, power of also, this, this will hold the memory. If you want to access this external data, the CPU will be fetching the address from this data pointer. So this data pointer, data pointer address to external memory, external, external memory, external memory in the sense it is the data memory that is a RAM. So like ROM, this also this 8051 supports 64 kilobytes of kilobytes of memory that is the external RAM. I hope uh, now you understood what is the data pointer and the and data pointer one more thing is there let, uh, let me write one more thing that is it's a it's a 16 bit register okay data pointer is a 16 bit register but it is made up of two 8 bits this is a data pointer data pointer is a 16 bit register but it is made up of two 8 bit registers that is called data pointer high bit high high register and data pointer low register that means this will be d7 to d0 again this will be d7 to d0 d7 it's a d7 to d0 so when we combine these two 8 bit registers we are getting 16 bit register data pointer what is the main thing it is user accessible register uh, so uh, we will stop here In the next lecture we will learn about a few more registers timers all those things uh, thanks for watching